How's it going guys? Welcome to VFG Movie Reviews and this is my review of Terrifier. Guys, this is a part of the VFG Halloween Spectacular 3, The Return, The Pre-Show, where I am going through and reviewing all the Terrifier films leading up to Terrifier 3 that we will see in October that will be part of of the Halloween Spectacular 3. Guys, if you could, give us a like, give us a subscribe, help us grow in 2024. I'd sure appreciate all of that. And let's get right into this review. All right, so we have Art returning and terrifying to partygoers on Halloween. This is so... <laughs> I love brutal slasher movies. I want to be, I just want to, I want to cry. I want to be grossed out. I want all of it. All of it. But even I was like, holy shit. Some of this shit is really, really fucked up. And my God, am I going to about to go through it with you guys? He, he literally just ties a girl up by her legs and then saws her in two from vagina to head and holy great googly moogly it makes the friend watch so brutal man like art is on another level when it comes to slasher flicks and i absolutely love every minute of everything about this the the, the whole pizza scene when he's he's in there and he's just doing stone face thing and she's like taking the selfie with her, which is my thumbnail for this. Uh, it's just awesome. Because he like could care less. He is just obsessed with the other girl and he could care less about this friend. And I think that's why he does her in so dirty. And then when he gets the... When he gets the girl that he wants dude he just shoots her in the face like seven times and it is god awful brutal and then when the sister shows up and the sister has to go through all this stuff and she gets her face cut up and cut off and everything else mine just god bless it man uh when the when the homeless girl gets her uh her, her tits and her vagina cut off the skin and art's wearing it like oh my god that is definitely reminiscent of texas chainsaw massacre wholeheartedly reminiscent of texas chainsaw massacre and it, it, it's cool it, it, i mean it's not cool but it's cool like to see stuff like that in a movie uh and i loved uh damien leon he really does take these movies as far as he could possibly go with them and it is absolutely brilliant on his thing uh a couple of things the only things i would take away from this movie is like the acting was a little a little rough but i understand it's it's another it's a low budget movie so you kind of get in what you get. There's no real like basis on how art functions. Like we see him, we see him blow his brains out in this, and he comes back. Just he can take a beating after a beating, a stabbing after a stabbing, which is he's kind of like Jason in that sense. So we have a, we we're definitely getting touches of the supernatural side leading into the other stuff which is just awesome and i love it i think art is exactly what we need in cinema today for the slasher genre we need that hardcore character we need when we go see this movie we are going to be made queasy we are going to be made uncomfortable because we're getting such we're getting good horror movies but most of them are pg-13 which they can't go that hard in it and but then we are getting some great hard r uh horror movies like immaculate and other movies to that extent and it and it's great but we need art and even after terrifier 3 i hope there's a terrifier 4 i hope there's a terrifier 5 
let's do all the Terrifier movies. It would be absolutely brilliant. Where does this lie on my five-star review scale? The bloody star scale, because it's the Halloween Spectacular 3, The Return. The story is a 3.5. The cinematography is a 3. The characters are a 3.5. The design is a 4. Which brings our total to 3.5 stars. Guys, have you seen Terrifier? Are you a fan of Damien Leone? Are you a fan of Art the Clown? Do you agree this is what we need in horror films today? Let me know. And I will see you in my next review.